Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video we will discuss about acyloin condensation. First we will see what is condensation reaction. When a two molecule combine in the presence of catalyst with the elimination of water which is called as a condensation reaction. When a two identical molecules like ester the combination of two identical molecules is known as a self condensation. As we know, when water is eliminated, which is called as a dehydration reaction. Sometimes, molecules like ammonia, ethanol, acetic acid, and hydrogen sulfide can also be lost. Like esters, other compounds can also combine with each other to form a larger molecule such as aldehydes, ketones, esters, alkynes and amines are several organic compounds that combine with each other to form a larger molecules. The catalyst commonly used is acid, base and cyanide ions in the condensation reaction. For example, when a methanol combine with butyric acid and forms a larger compound with the elimination of water. Then we will see about the types of the condensation reaction. First one, uh, first there are two types of uh, condensation reaction. First one is intramolecular condensation. Second one is intermolecular condensation. Intramolecular, intera which means Intera means within the molecule. When a two functional groups of the same molecule react to eliminate a simple molecule like water is known as a intermolecular condensation. Second one is intermolecular condensation. Inter means between two molecules. The condensation reaction between two molecules of the same or different compound is known as a intermolecular condensation. So in next step we will see about acyloin condensation in the second part of video. Acyloin condensation reaction is the reaction between the two molecules of ester combined together and forms a, an alpha hydroxy ketone. So what happens? An ester group in the presence of metal like sodium followed by hydrolysis to form an alpha hydroxy ketone. Generally, the acyloin condensation is the bimolecular reductive coupling of two carboxylic esters using a metallic sodium. In general, the OCH3 or OR group is getting eliminated. When the, rea the reaction is more successful when the OR group is aliphatic. The reactivity will be lesser when the R group is an aromatic. The reaction is performed in the aprotic solvent with a high boiling point such as benzene. When you carry out the reaction by using a protein solvent, protic solvent, then the ester getting gets reduces to form a primary alcohol. The reduction reaction is known as a bovalt plank reaction. The acyloin condensation of diesters generally favors the intermolecular cyclization over the intermolecular polymerization when diesters are used. See the, re see the example, the diester in the presence of a molten sodium and to form an acyloin. When acyloin generally the acyloin condensation is carried out in the presence of chlorotrimethylsilane. The in diolate intermediate is trapped as the bisilyl derivative. This can be isolated and is hydrolyzed under the acidic condition to the acyloin which gives a better yield. The equation is as follows. Two molecules of esters in the presence of a molten sodium and trimethyl, trimethyl silide chloride and reflux which forms the bisilyl 
derivative followed by the hydrolysis forms acyloin then we'll see the mechanism two esters combined in the presence of molten sodium it will form an acyloin the mechanism consists of four steps first one is oxidative ionization of two sodium atoms on the double bond of two ester molecules first the sodium will be oxidized and to form a sodium plus ion and electron the ratio of this reaction four sodium plus ions for every two molecules of esters so we get four sodium plus ions and four electrons from the four sodium atoms in the first step the sodium gets oxidized and forms a na plus ion the electron attacks the electrophilic carbon which is a carbonyl carbon which is highly electrophilic carbon and forms the radical anionic species the second step the free radical coupling between two molecules of homolytic ester derivative after the electron transfer it forms a radical ionic anionic species the radical anion which is stabilized by the counter cation like na plus after that the dimerization will take place after that dimerization the diketo type compound is formed in the third step the oxidative ionization of two sodium atoms on both diketone double bonds so the the diketo is more reactive than the mother compound hence it is more electrophilic it is having more electrophilic carbon hence the electron is more aggressively attacks the diketo carbonyl carbon and forms an anionic species and further dimerization it forms the stable compound on using trimethyl silyl chloride it traps the oxygen and it breaks the silicon oxygen bond and forms the 1,2 diol 1,2 diol on further tautomerization it forms the acyloin thank you